Howdy y'all and welcome back. The top half of Rocket Armory LGO number seven, L7. We're gonna be calling this version three. It's probably like seven, but basically the third barrel now that I will have put into this build. Started at 11 and a half inch, then went with the 12 and a half inch Roscoe barrel. And now we are at a 14 and a half inch Faxon gunner barrel that's like almost a pencil barrel, but it's a little girthier at the back. Mid-length gas system, which is the whole reason that I did the Midwest Industries handguard uh, a couple months ago. And uh, we've got it just kind of mocked up here. The Sons of Liberty Gunworks Knox Chemo model, which is set up to take uh, dead air suppressors and a handful of other brands now are using that dead air chemo system. So I've got options, even though I'm going to be pinned and welded. So let's take it over to the table and do a quick kind of side by side between the Faxon 14 and a half and the Roscoe 12 and a half. All right. And now for just the barrels, the Roscoe 12 and a half at one pound seven. So 23 ounces and the Faxon Gunner 14.5 at one pound five, maybe, maybe a hair over five. Uh, we'll call it 21. So two ounces heavier, even though it's two ounce, uh, two inches shorter. However, the Knox is about an ounce, almost two ounces heavier than the Surefire War Comp which is about an ounce heavier than uh, like an A2 birdcage or whatever. So we're hoping to get about same, same. All right, so here's the Roscoe Bloodline 12 and a half inch with the Surefire War Comp. I don't have any washers or shims in there, but, and we've got the Aero Precision Low Profile Gas Block and just a gas tube. So all together that unit is coming in at one pound 11 ounces so 27 ounces and make sure it was zeroed and the Faxon Gunner 14.5 with the Knox Chemo also no shim or washer or anything uh, and this is the uh, gas block that come came with I bought these as a matched set. You can see there it's got the little divot cut out, so it will be a pinned gas block, but it's skeletonized. So it might be uh, just a tiny hair lighter than the uh, Aero one. And that is coming in at one pound 10, so 26 ounces. So two inches longer, but one ounce lighter. So eh, pretty close. All right, so gained two inches, but lost one ounce total. <laughs> so basically what I've done is spent, well, once it's all said and done, I will have spent about $500 to avoid spending $200 on a tax stamp because that's how much I hate the NFA. <laughs> Kidding aside, uh, the 12 and a half inch Roscoe barrel is so good. And if... If I'm gonna do a tax stamp on an AR build, it's gonna be a shorty like XM177 carry handle vibe, like vintage cool gun. Um, for the purposes of this build, I really like the extra two inches at the end, not a big deal. This is, I'm trying to go for kind of like the all, like kind of do all rifle with L7. So I wanna be able to reach out touch something at some distance. I'm not trying to be like super like in the house CQB style, whatever. Uh, I've discussed this kind of over and over again, but for things that go bump in the night, I'm probably grabbing a handgun. So I'm not that concerned about like maximum shortness. Uh, I want kind of that versatility. And once I get this all buttoned up, you'll see there's a whole other reason that I wanted to have a full rifle for this build. So that will be coming up 
in the hopefully not so distant future. It depends on what the turnaround is on the pin and weld. But that's all I got for today. Until next time, be easy, y'all.